The lava from the new Sundunka crater chain eruption at the Reconus Peninsula of Iceland quickly advanced its lava toward the town of the Grindavik, where only defense we had was uh, these walls and some topographic va barrier. It deflected the lava toward the Melhole quarry, but the advancing lava pushed again toward the south, toward the town, and this time it breached the course of the lava toward the east side, and this is what we see. So it was moving away from the town of the Grindavik. We mapped it here. We can show you now. This is the blue arrows showing that. But the lava was thickening because the continuation of the eruption was adding more lava to this uh, area. And the mass of lava eventually led that the incoming lava is now flowing on top of that one. And then today we had the breach. The lava flew over the L12 defensive wall and cascaded down. But now in the dark we can see that a new advancing tongue is moving and developing gradually on the top of the pyramid at, at, at the moment now. As you can see here, I've marked them, I've brightened up the images slightly for you. This is the initial one, the lava breach to the uh, near the uh, logistic road. The second one is gradually developing on, on top of it, uh, toward more toward the south. That's the initial lava breach and the future lava breach, which I think will happen. It is here. Eruption is not going to stop. So we expect that this lava breach also happen. More interestingly, we have now a, an eastward, again, lava breach toward the east of the lava tongue that we already had there. And you can see that it's quite clear that you have the gases moving. So this is the initial movements. We had the bridge, now it's moving toward the east. And again, we expect a future bridge toward the west and toward the Grindavik. This is a fastly developing situation. I will keep you up to date on that.